oh, come gather around, folks, because the F1 soap opera is about to get even juicier. McLaren has suddenly decided to awaken from its slumber, and everyone is scratching their heads wondering if they found the magic beans. Rumor has it they've been sipping on Red Bull with their morning coffee, because that's the only reasonable explanation for such a dramatic turnaround. Perhaps they just stumbled upon an old secret stash of speed and found the cheat codes to the game. Who knew Formula One became a video game overnight? And speaking of magical beans, let's direct our attention to the towering titan of Formula One, Red Bull. Oh yes, they're not just a drink. They're the energizer bunny of racing. But wait, what's this? They seem a tad jittery because McLaren decided to shove a hot chili pepper up the tailpipe. Good luck keeping up with them now. It's like trying to chase a cheetah on roller skates. Thrilling, yet highly improbable. Honestly though, is it just me, or does it feel like someone sprinkled some fairy dust on that McLaren? In light of all this, let's not forget our dear FIA, the ultimate referee of this high-speed circus. Are they enjoying their lunch break while all this unfolds? Did they show up to the party with a blindfold on and declare everyone a winner? Because with McLaren suddenly firing on all cylinders and Red Bull looking like they've lost their GPS, you have to wonder if the FIA accidentally left the keys to the racing kingdom in the wrong locker. Classic move, right? Ah, but wait, there's more. This isn't just about speed. It's a full-blown epic rivalry. Picture McLaren and Red Bull as two over-enthusiastic kids arguing over whose toy car is faster at recess. Don't you love it? Who needs classroom rules when we can just have a well-placed intercepting mechanic pop in to change the game? I can just see the characters. McLaren's new guy working overtime like a barista who just discovered espresso for the first time. As we dig deeper into this concoction of conspiracy theories and questionable aerodynamics, one can't help but wonder how many memes and hilarious tweets will come out of this debacle. Experts and fans alike are probably foaming at the mouth just to label this as an unexpected plot twist, a reality show of grand pre-proportions. Keep your popcorn ready, folks, because something tells me the episode will end with a cliffhanger worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster. But hold on to your helmets, because just as we think we've got it all figured out, enter the social media warriors armed with their keyboards. Keyboard warriors seem to have specialized in the art of conspiracy-laden commentary. Every twist and turn will generate Twitter threads longer than a Red Bull energy drink ad and twice as caffeinated. Can we get some psychoanalysis on this, or have we reached peak conspiracy theory in motorsport yet? And here's a thought to ponder. Is this drama truly shaking up the tracks, or is it just the F1 equivalent of someone trying to find their lost glasses while wearing them? Maybe McLaren is just playing a really long game of hide and seek, and we're the very confused spectators left with our jaws on the floor. So tell me, dear audience, how many more twists and turns does this F1 reality show need before it ends? Will McLaren be the hero, or is this all just a well-rehearsed plot to keep us entertained? What do you think, folks? Like and subscribe, please.